Hey everyone, it's Everything Eve here, and in today's video I'm going to be covering over Windows 7. Now as you can see, probably in the corner, it is January 14th. Today is the very last day Windows 7 will be receiving extended support. And, after, and so what the, so that doesn't mean, after this day Windows 7 will no longer be supported. Um, now that does not mean that Windows 7 is going to be like unusable or anything. It just means that Windows 7 is no longer going to receive any updates, bug fixes, or security patches unless they're absolutely urgent to the point where they actually have to use it. So, um, yeah, so if you were part of the early 2000 gang of kids, you'll probably remember Windows 7 fondly. I'm, I remember I did, well, not really fondly. I'd say I really hated it. To be honest, it was really buggy and laggy, and as soon as Windows 10 came out, I asked my dad to upgrade it because I was still little back then, and it's it's done installing updates, so I'm assuming, oh, they're gadgets. So one of the first features of Windows Vista and 7 were that you could use gadgets, which were awesome back then. So I'm just going to put like a clock and a calendar gadget here, maybe even. Um... A CPU gadget so I can see how much this VM is working itself out as, as you can see the memory is just going crazy so yeah this was the start menu and you might actually recognize the start menu yet yeah, cuz yes this was this is the start menu that's being carried on till today um, which is pretty awesome for you know the um, Windows 7 this was the start menu was introduced in um, XP, it was a two-column start menu, and it's been carried on until today, with the exception of 8.1, where they introduced, uh, where they d discarded it in favor of a full-screen start menu. Also, um, yeah, this was the last OS that actually included built-in games that weren't um, other developers' games. So there were a lot of games here. There was um, Solitaire. Now, Solitaire was the classic, you know, card game. Oh, God. Um, yeah, that's Windows 7 difficulties. Haha. <laughs> um, this OS was supposed to be a much more improved version of, um, uh, of, you know, um, uh, of, uh, um, ooh, it's laggy. It's supposed to be a much more improved version of Vista, but I don't see any improvement here. No, I really hated Windows 7, so don't take my words with a grain of salt. It's just, I'm, I've am i gone crazy. Um, I was so happy today that Windows 7 support is finally ending. So yes, you could play games like Solitaire, but it's super laggy, so I'm not even going to play it. I'm just going to guide you through everything. So there was an Internet Explorer. Now this was like Internet Explorer eight or nine, or something. So um, it's um, it's very limited as to what it can do. So um, Microsoft is also ending security patches for the browser as well. Internet Explorer eight. Um, I think that w that's what it was. Um, they're also ending security for that as well because um, uh, because it's a very insecure web browser it's slow it's it can't even load the latest, latest version of google that's how bad it is um yes yeah, so but this os was champ it it gained the title of most used my uh, most used os in 2012 and held it held it with a firm grip all the way until 2018 where it finally got taken out by um, windows 10 and Oh, it's taken so long. Um, it, if that was six years, it remained the top OS, and it is the third longest supported OS. Um, Vista is second, XP is first. Um, XP supported by 13 year, for 13 years. So, um, if we can actually load this, then I'll probably be able to show you where it says, "Oh crap!" Yes, Windows Internet Explorer 8. Like I said. This is this is not like a latest version of um, Internet Explorer. It's not that great. Um, it's actually having a lot of trouble right now. Oh God! I should have chosen more RAM. I'm working with one gig of RAM right now. 
which is obviously not ideal. Oh, we're going to have to crash that as well. If I was running this on native hardware, this would be easier, but I'm running this in a virtual machine on a non-virtual machine compatible computer. Um, they had a bunch of other things like the math input panel. Um, I'm sure many of you remember fooling with that, I guess. Um, and we're just, okay. So um, another great point about Windows 7 was its ability to customize the operating system. Now, there were a bunch of wallpapers that we will get to in a second when I can sort out issues with this. Um, and, um, so, so here we go. Okay, so you could write something like T. Oh, no. <sighs> Guys, do not ever use Windows 7 with one gig of RAM. It is not possible. This thing is maxing itself out. A, as you can see. Okay, I'm just going to close this for now. So there were a bunch of things. This would this would be renamed in certain countries that have this theme where they'd show like uh, in Canada they'd have Canada but since I set this up um, and uh, since I set this up with the US thing setting even though I live in Canada it shows the United States and they didn't they had different sounds so I think you guys will be able to hear the sounds maybe I'm not even sure um, let's give it a moment to change backgrounds oof that's very, but you guys do get the point. Um, that was city, Cityscape, and there were characters with the flying pigs, turtles, whatever. Um, <laughs> that looks so weird, to be honest. I do not understand that background in my life. There were also landscapes which also would set the color to slate. Now the color would actually be used by the, by this gray bar, but um, I'm using the ugly edition of Windows 7, Windows 7 Ultimate, which should be compatible. But the big issue here is is that um, the it, there, there's too insufficient memory to actually use any effects like Arrow, so not possible. Uh, it's taking a long time, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I should have chosen more RAM. It's my fault. Um, oh God. Um, each, each, it would actually give you sounds. It actually had boot up sound, unlike nowadays with Windows, where it just remains silent during boot up, log in, log off, lock, anything. Um, oh jeez. This was one of my favorite, except the sounds were just weird. It's it's very abstract and it's very pleasing to the eye. And this was this actually is my favorite, the United States theme. I mean, you guys probably heard that, did you? Didn't you? Um, I think I'll keep it on the United States theme and yes, yeah, so it'd show this thing, and you'd be able to. Yeah, so, um, let's try getting started, because getting started does not take much memory, I don't think. It's finally balancing out the memory. So, they had a lot that, this would not start up annoyingly like it did in Vista all the time. Um, there's personalized windows, which we just did, transfer file and settings from another computer. This was one of the highlights about Windows 7 was Windows Easy Transfer where you could m where you could make make the move to your new computer like it says by transferring everything from your old computer using a wire over the internet over an external hard drive um home group was another feature um that was refined in Windows 7 it was introduced in Vista and you could share documents with anyone in your home um they recently canceled this with Windows 10 so people who have just started using a computer probably will not have seen this before. Um, UAC, this was the first time you could change UAC levels, like how much it would bug you. Um, the Windows Live Essentials, Windows Live does not work anymore, um, but you still can find Windows Live Essentials, which includes things like Movie Maker, Windows Live, Windows Mail, a lot of things. Back up your files, this had a backup thing where you can back it up to install hard drive add new users and then where you could add people and then change the size of your text so it's easier for access 
So I really hope you guys did like my video. And if you did, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.